Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Mod uh, SketchUp lesson, friends. Today, we're going to make a sweet play ship, so let's get cracking. Friends, a few quick things. I'm going to ask you to work with two hands. Your left hand is going to click shortcuts on the keyboard. Your right hand is going to manipulate them. I'm also going to show you my hand as it does it. You won't get to see me click the shortcut, but I'll tell you that as I do it. To get to my.sketchup, there will be a link in the description, or you can simply type my.sketchup.com. When you get there, we choose home. We're going to create new, and we're going to build with millimeters. When you click that, it doesn't feel like anything happened. Make sure you wait patiently, because boom, it will show up. And now, it's time to start building. So the first thing we're going to do is save it. Click once on Untitled. Click on the SketchUp folder, and we're going to type ship. And then I'm going to put my initials, and I've done this once or twice, so I'm going to call mine Ship 5. We're going to click on the lady on the screen and hit delete. She is just there to show us how large the screen is. The next step is we are going to build with a rectangle. Click and let go. You could also press the letter R and then click the origin. But once again, look at my finger. It's not touching. Then I want you to type the numbers 100 and hit the comma and type 80 and press enter. That is the size of the shape we're going to work with. Click on the orbit button and switch to fit view so we can zoom in. Notice you can scroll out with the wheel on the mouse and if I push in and drag I can look at this from a different angle now. The next step is I'm going to switch to the line tool. I'm going to press the letter L. You could also click the line and I want you to find the midpoint. Click and let go. Notice that finger's not touching. And then see how it's a black line or a red line? This means it's on the red axis. Come over to your numbers, type 50, and press enter. Now simply use your line tool to connect those together. And then hit E for eraser. And we need to scroll in and delete those two pieces. Notice I click with the circle on the end of the eraser, not the pink piece. Now I'm going to ask you to press P, which is push-pull. Friends, now I need you to hit the space bar and select the middle of the shape we created. Now I'm going to ask you to press P, which is for push-pull. Click and release. Lift it up a little. And then I want you to type the number 30 and press enter. Hit your space bar to switch to the select tool. Grab everything. You can see it is all selected. Press M for move and grab this back corner on the blue axis. Once again, click and let go and just lift it up a bunch and I want you to type 50 and press enter. Click anywhere on the screen, then switch to orbit and get so you can see underneath it. We do want this blue line close. Then we are gonna hit F for offset. Click right on this and let go. And then I want you to type the number 15 and press enter. We're going to switch to the space bar. Make sure we only have this middle piece selected. And we're going to do M for move. Come back to this corner and start it moving straight down. We are going to tap Alt on the keyboard to turn on Auto Fold. And see that blue line? That is the blue axis. And we just want to pull it down until it meets that spot. When you click and then hit Orbit, it will look like a sweet pirate play ship. It may take you one of two tries. I will show you that again by doing Control Z. I'm gonna look under it. There's my space bar, so I can select it. M for move, click on the corner, start pulling it down. Tap Alt for auto fold, and when we've got that blue axis, we can just come down to the 50 millimeter mark. Now it does help that I orbited, so I was looking at it from a little bit under, that, my friends, is how you get the base of your pirate playship built. Friends, let's use orbit to look at this from the top. Click the space bar, click this front piece. If you don't see the dots, then it's not going to work. Press F for offset and tap and let go. We're going to type the number 4 and press enter for how we want this offset to look. We're going to now switch to the line tool with the letter L. Move across until you find that midpoint and then trace this side till you find the other midpoint and it makes a perfectly straight line. Hit your space bar again, click on that front piece, do P for push pull and we want to pull that down but we're going to type the number 25 and press enter. Friends, let's hit O to orbit and we want to look at this from the very front. 
We want to hit R for rectangle, and we want to go to this end point. We need a rectangle that goes up the red side. I'm going to hit O for orbit so I can flatten the word a little more. And now when I lift this up, you can see it's making it on the red axis, and we're going to type 72, comma 50, and press Enter. Press your space bar if this appears, and simply delete it. And then move back to this side, and we are going to use P for push-pull. And then we're going to take the red arrow, and we're going to touch that inside box. Notice if you zoom in, it just snaps right to that corner, just like that. Once again, friends, make sure you hit spacebar and click on this front face. Press F for offset, click, let go, type the number 5, and press enter. We are going to then switch to the spacebar, click on this front piece, and we're going to do push-pull back to this corner. This is one of my favorite things, is you can just drag that out there like crazy, and when you bring the arrow to that corner, it snaps to the exact right size. Let's do O for orbit. Let's do spacebar, click this side, F for offset again. Friends, we simply stretch it out, hit that five, press enter, and it will be pushed to the exact spot. Spacebar and click the centerpiece. This time let's orbit so we can see this little corner right here. Now when we do P for push-pull, we can touch the arrow, and I'll zoom in so you can see this better, right to that end point. Now it didn't delete it, but we're going to do spacebar, click it, and hit delete, and you can see that turned out spiffy. I'm going to go to this side, once again click the face, hit the letter F for offset, stretch it a little, type 5, press enter. Spacebar, click on this piece, hit your push-pull, bring it in, and this time I'm going to touch that corner, or I could touch the edge, but the corners I find to be the easiest. Spacebar, click, and delete. How cool is that? Friends, let's hit O for orbit so we can see these lines. Hit E for erase. I'm going to orbit again so I can see this one. E for erase, so we're cleaning that up. If we do O for orbit, those probably exist up here. Check that out. E for erase, E for erase. O for orbit, and let's come up here and add a peak to this. If we hit L for line, move across, you'll find the midpoint. Move across, you'll find the midpoint. Hit M for move. Move to the midpoint of that line and make sure you're lifting it on the blue axis. Type the number 30 and press enter. Alrighty friends, so I'm gonna hit O for orbit. Oh my gosh, you have just made the start of a pirate play ship in just a few minutes. Friends, that was a ton of awesome steps. Make sure you click save because you don't want to lose this. It does save to the cloud, but it only does it every five minutes, and you just want to make sure you have your project saved. I'm going to hit O for orbit and give us one last look at this cool pirate play ship. This is part one. There is a second video. Make sure you check the cards for it. You can also track it down at hlmodtech.com. I have got my entire SketchUp page. Lots of cool activities for you to explore if you're enjoying working with SketchUp. Friends, don't forget there is also a messaging button. You can click here and instantly get a hold of me if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion. Friends, as you're building this, make sure you store those shortcuts. R for rectangle, O for orbit, P for push-pull, L for line. They all make you a faster builder. M for move. Today we did not use the copy modifier, but make sure you do know that that exists because it does make you more efficient. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.